All right, sorry if the camera is a little messed up, but I want you guys to see, if you look behind me, this is a garage tent that we modified to sleep in. This is what we had to set it up in. everybody we are going on our last very last deer hunt for the famous white-tailed deer we have about me Jesse and Jacob with two tags we got a buck tag and a doe tag thankfully now monster bucks don't really exist here unless it's just a miracle but we're we're in it for the meat it's our last chance last chance to fill our freezers last chance for a great video so we'll see what happens it's actually well it doesn't look too bad right now but it's a crazy snowstorm we're apparently supposed to get how many 30 centimeters yeah so. they said 15 to 30 centimeters which is uh close to a foot <laughs> yeah we're actually sleeping in a garage tent that we made and bought and we added a little tarp to it and a little stove that i made from scratch and scrap by the way uh, we don't know if it's uh, livable yet but we tested it out and it got like 25 degrees Celsius in there so I don't know that's a little to me but if we keep the fire going we should be all right but there's gonna be a lot a lot of snow so we're gonna get there hunt we left uh, like what three hours ago we're still not there um, we're gonna get there hunt a little bit check the camera set up our tent hunt the evening have a nice dinner and hopefully we get a deer tonight or tomorrow morning but it's got to happen we didn't get anything rifle season I went maybe two hours east and three hours north same place we're going we didn't get anything our hunt camp did but this is this is the last very last chance last weekend too to shoot them in this area so we'll see what happens the hunting pressure is gone we have does and fawns on camera so I don't know let's see Look at this guy. Look, look wait, hold on. Go Show ahead. me your toilet paper. This is literally him right there. That's him. This is Jesse. This guy has shit all over the Canadian Shield. <laughs> if there was a record for the amount of shit, like this guy I shit all I over the Canadian Shield. Like I think I at least on every highway in Ontario. Twenty times a year. How many highways do you think? You well, on? I mean mostly the four hundred. Sometimes 401, one time on the 407, sometimes Highway 12, Highway 11. Um, Got to always keep a roll of toilet paper in the car, right? I'm lactose intolerant and uh, it's a hard life. <laughs> use my hands to pull this and uh, that was stressful thank god back out for the evening this is just a disaster we're gonna set the tent up on this thing nice just got a little tent up just under an hour the snow is not stopping holy shit, look around you everything is just covered it just makes everything so much harder yo oh my god there's an o-ring on the bottom there Oh my god, Jesse, out, 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 out. 
Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! <laughs> oh no, we just... Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! You, you guys gotta give me some tension here, man. Oh, it ripped the shreds. Okay, go. Yeah, I went like this last time. Yeah, Luca. And hit down, hit down. Wow, thanks, Jess. Thanks for the yeah. awesome advice. Well, really, wow. Good job. See what happens when you listen to me? Alright, sorry if the camera is a little messed up, but I want you guys to see, if you look behind me, this is a garage tent that we modified to sleep in. This is what we had to set it up in, and it doesn't look like it's going to stop. Now, look inside. A bunch of goons. You got the boys. With our cot set up, a lot of wood, the stove that I made, all cooking, keeping us warm. It's actually 10 degrees in there, 10 degrees Celsius, and the door's been open this whole time. We got this little terrible contraption here. This tent is badass, dude. Look at this thing. Wow. Alright, so now we're just eating a little sausage for lunch and we're going to get back out there and hopefully we could get it here today. I forgot my pulley and this is how I have to cock my boat. My hands. It's terrible. Oh my goodness. Come on. Jeez. Oh, chest almost came out of my body. It has snowed so much. Since like three hours ago. It's insane. Walking through this is a massive workout. Oh my god. This is not looking good. Just not. Terrible, terrible weekend. So, very last evening of the whole year to hunt white-tailed deer. And I could go down a list and name all the excuses I want and why we didn't get a deer tonight, but one just, uh, one just didn't want to come in. So, let's see what happens tomorrow. Then I'm gonna cook up something nice, so stay tuned for that. And then tomorrow we'll get out hunting. It's the whole part of the game. This is all part of the game, man. Shitty game sometimes. So, right now, we actually have Jacob in the ditch completely. Bro, what? Huge chunk of snow came from this thing. Yeah. Fell on my window, yeah. so I tapped my brakes. The situation. Jacob on our way back got stuck in the ditch. Pretty damn bad. So show him around, show him around. So this look this doesn't look bad, but then let's assess here. Oh, this is there's about three there. feet. There's a log there, there's a log there. This is a log. It's actually kinda of good because it's stopping me from continuing. Yeah, this this is yeah, your bumper's on it. So, we have to get this guy out of this mess. So this is gonna story. be fun. It was either the ditch that we're standing in or that tree. Go a little bit, start going slow, I'll say stop, okay? You stay, Jake. And stop, stop. Okay. I'm gonna say go, and you're gonna go. Okay. Jesse, don't give it, but go, okay? Go, go. Go Jake, go Jake, go Jake, go both of you, go, 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 okay, stop, 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 keep going, okay, okay, stop, stop, don't worry, you're just over it, okay, Jesse, go forward, Jake, you stay, Jake, Jake, turn your, turn your wheels, but stay, stop, stop, 
Okay, both of you on go, okay? Three, two, one, go. Jake, you really have to give it, but Jake, you gotta give it first. And go, go Jess, go Jess, go Jess, go Jess. Stop, stop, stop. Some of our methods are working right now, so we're just trying to add some, just a little more traction, sticks, whatever we can find here. Just so he doesn't keep sliding. Is that the problem right now? He can't slide, he can't come up here sideways. He's gotta come up straight up this uh, mess that we made here. Dude, we got camp to go to, man. Like, we gotta get out of here. We don't even know if it's there or cold or hot. And we're covered in mud and snow. It's terrible. Three. Oh, my God. You can't do that, Jake. Okay, now go, go, go. Okay, one, two, three. No! Oh! Okay. Okay, okay. Are you good? My front almost went. Stopped it. Okay, now turn a little bit. Yeah, your front's not turning. Okay, where he's going, he's going. Your tires aren't turning, why? What? Are you in low? No, I'm high. Your tires aren't moving. Okay, one, two, three, go. Swam, swam, swam. Evo, 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 Evo. Go, 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 go. You, you, you literally have like the perfect amount to three point turn. No, like you have to go back still. So you you have room. You're not you're not that bad. Just grab the hook. Let's just grab the hook. Back, let's let's just grab the hook. If you hook, wait wait wait. If you hook him now, it's too late. He's too in there. He's too in there. No, he'll swing down. Do the same thing. If he tugs me, it'll. This is take. very risky, man. He's gonna throw you sideways now. We already we should have done it before. He's gonna he's gonna pull. You're thinking you're gonna come straight out this way, right? Yeah. Okay. What's gonna happen is you're gonna go down the hill because you're right. Wheel's gonna go down, your left wheel's gonna be here, and you're gonna go right in again. Yeah. You're gonna go right in again. You could back up, bro. We almost had you. This is all ice. Like, this is all ice right now. We're all, we're gonna get stuck on our way back. It's only getting Fair. worse. Fair, grab. Where? Give me some. You put the gravel in front of your tires. Okay, go. Okay, stop. stop. Okay, forward, tiny. Stop! Stop, stop. Okay, back. Okay, no, no. Okay, forward. I think that's important. He almost got stuck again. All right. So right now, we're actually making some venison shanks in the same place where these deer were shot. Isn't that very honorable? I'm gonna grab some butter and some olive oil and some fed. I'm gonna get it nice and hot. I'm gonna sear the shanks. And then after I sear them, I'm gonna take them out, put my onions and garlic in, let them caramelize. And then we'll add the shanks back in, pour some water, get that hot, and then start, put the, start putting the uh, carrots and potatoes in. Once that gets hot enough, I'm gonna throw it right on top of the stove and let it just cook for maybe an hour until we get starving. And we'll see how that turns out. I'm gonna see these shanks. All right, so now that I see it by shanks, I'm just gonna put them aside for a little bit. And I'm gonna put my onions in there and my garlic. But I'm not gonna caramelize them. It's gonna get them rendered down enough so where they're nice and soft. And then I'm gonna add these shanks back in. I'm gonna add the potatoes, carrots, some water, some wild leeks that we picked in the spring. And then I'm just gonna let that get hot enough so that I can put it on my stove and it'll slow cook. And then hopefully I'm aiming for those shanks to be nice and fall off the bony. Alright, so I'm just going to put these shanks in now. I'm going to add my potatoes. I'm going to add my 
my shirt. A nice garage. Oh yeah. My potatoes. Not season nothing. All fresh from the farm. Wild leaf. Very close. From the spring. And then I'm just going to add some water. I'm going to let it slow cook, get hot enough on this stove, and then throw it on this fire stove right here. Yeah, you press the button. What do you know about in there? You don't even know that there's deer down there. You can't even tell. No idea. Let's check this out. Oh my goodness. So now you can see that it's almost boiling. Just about boiling. One side here at least. So I'm just going to leave it in here for about maybe another minute. Close this foil around it and then throw it right, right on this wood stove right here. But here it is. Now, if I wanted it to be like fall off the bone, I would have left it in way longer. But we're just running out on time. We gotta go to bed. Wake up early in the morning, so it's not fall off the bone, but it's just you know you can still pull it off. And it's oh. not that tough. It's like half tough because it's a tough piece of meat. You're supposed to slow cook it for a long time, but we don't have the time. But this is gonna be very, very good. Alright, so right now it's actually late morning. Uh, this morning was snowing like crazy still. And we also didn't set our alarms properly. And we were just recovering from last night. I mean, last night was unexpected, crazy. But it's late morning. We're gonna get out. It's not looking likely. We're gonna see if we can find fresh tracks. If not, then they probably went away or heard it up already. But so last. Last chance, so we gotta get out there. Right now, I'm just walking our stand. Maybe we can pop a deer on the way, but we just wanna see if there's any tracks, if we missed anything this morning. Hoping we did it. Okay, walk into my stand for the last time this year. I'm gonna take you guys on a journey and see what I have to go through. stuck because they didn't want to take another chance and uh, we're just gonna stay at our stance for about an hour see if a miracle happens if not then it has been fun it's been uh, rough for hunting for sure but this is a uh, this is it right here unfortunately but this is all part of hunting <laughs> stand for the last time this year uh, no luck this year at all but a lot a lot of things learned we're definitely not gonna be repeating a lot of the stuff we did this year that didn't work we're gonna try a lot of new things and hopefully next year we'll have a little more property a little more public land to go on now that we got that garage tent which we actually slept beautifully in but lesson learned this is part of hunting there's no point in giving up 
Well, one day I'm sure we'll be laughing at these moments, but <laughs> right now we're not. But anyways, if you guys liked the video, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at RockyZone underscore. Check out our website at RockyZone.ca. And I'll see you guys in the hard water season. Now that's going to be fun. Something to look forward to. Peace out.